Welcome, Gemini. It's your solstice love read, December 21st, 2021. It's looking at a general love, romance, and relationship reading using four cards. Here we have the bottom of the deck. And here I did already clarify the outcome card, the lovers. So it's not a sexy read and um, very a little bit complex. But I feel this is for someone that's been in a relationship, is maybe still in. And actually with this being the overall energy, the six of, of pentacles, you know, it would have felt like everything was going okay. So I think that the, when I see the seven of swords and now the six of cups together here, and this, to be clear, is the energy of what's blocking you, what is the problem, and this is you, where you're at, your mind and heart, in and around love and relationships. So, you know, you're going along in the Six of Pentacles energy, thinking there's reciprocation, uh, thinking things are, are pretty balanced and pretty good and fine. Um, and you get a surprise. And I got to think here with the Seven of Swords, what, what that is, I think, where you're at. And if you resonate, let me know, leave a comment. Um, you're, you're strategic thinking. But the reason we do this is because, you know, we kind of, uh, something happened before, and now we're like, you know, I should have seen it this way, and I don't know how I missed that, and I wonder if it always means uh, so this, someone's cheating when they do that, and um, so it's not a great energy to have in and around love and relationships, which I can understand, but it looks like this is something you're kind of going through. It might be something that came out of this, you know, Pluto-Venus conjunction, I mean, it's going to uh, bring up secrets and things, the, the shadow stuff. So but what I see here, this you could think of this as being the Six of Cups reversed. And so that's just disappointment, letdown, even a betrayal, um, emotionally thinking, uh, speaking here. Um, and then this is the advice from Spirit. And I think the most important position in this little reading, and that's the Queen of Pentacles. And that's got to be just spirit saying to you, um, it's time to, uh, you know, um, be an adult, be strong, you know, um, buck up. It's kind of a, it, I just feel it like it's a little bit stern, like, come on. I mean, you were in this, uh, you know, Six of Pentacles energy to start with. And so you know what it's like to be stable and to be strong um, and you know, you, you sort of, this is sort of getting way knocked off your rocker, not, you're not grounded anymore. It's like, you know how to ground. That's what this is about. It's like, do, it's time to do whatever you have to do to be this strong Gemini that's like a, you know, uh, earth sign. Wouldn't surprise me as well. Uh, well, you could also look to your chart for advice. You know, a lot of energy going on in Capricorn. Um, did an energy read today for the 21st, the solstice you might want to check out. It's up on my channel. Um, but dude, this is you channeling this, the toughest part of you, um, that earth part of you, and you might be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, person, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus here. And it, even that could be what originally kind of drew you to them, Gemini, was their solidness, their groundedness, their um self con the way they were self-contained you know um kind of energy that can draw you in almost like uh, some kind of orbit so this is saying that you have that too um and for you to channel that and it's kind of saying because a decision uh is coming or is on you this could be happening right now this could be in the very near future and i clarified the lovers because it is a decision, and I often say with the lovers, it's not necessarily an A or B decision. Should I take A or should I take B? To me, it's often stay or go, and that's what this is. It could be that this person comes back to you or makes some kind of overture. Um, and what I was saying is like you, you. This is you want to not you want to get the six of cups uh, upright. And go ahead and don't avoid those emotions because this is a deep betrayal, uh, some kind of grief, you know, uh, this kind of thing. It could still be in some kind of shock. Um, 
And it's better to be, I believe, in that emotional energy than to be in this mental energy of like, oh, why this and why that and damn it, this. You know, which could be a Gemini thing. Uh, the mind, um, quick thoughts. So by grounding and going more into this Queen of Pentacles energy, uh, it's going to move you out of that energy of your mind, uh, which is kind of wild, wild thoughts. And emotionally, by getting into those feelings and not running away from them, it's going to lead you to walking away emotionally, not just by words, not just by even effort. Like I've, I've walked away and completely and it was over, but em emotionally was it over? No, it could hang on for a long time. But I think this shows you in the very near future now, you're uh, emotionally really walking away. And this Eight of uh, Cups is a really uh, strong uh, showing of the walking away here. It's just like I'm completely done and I'm leaving. And um, um, I think like when I, I'd like to think though that when it's all over and all said and done, you could leave this Seven of Swords energy. Or else when your next relationship starts, you'll be meeting them uh, with the Ace of Swords in this position. Or if I do a heart spread where it shows how you're meeting people, boom, because you'll be meeting people with the tip of your sword and you'll be already like, you know, a little paranoid and thinking. It's like, I wonder why they said that. And I better ask this. And you might, <clears throat> It just gets the mind focused on all that kind of negative stuff, which, you know, why? Um, and I think, but I think you're like, go of that very well. Um, and it does mean that though you'll be just be walking away, completely let go of this relationship. So, you know, it's Venus retrograde right now, ding, ding. So, uh, hey, it's best to chill anyway going to be a get through the till March and then um, there you go it's spring uh, coming and um, and uh, fire things back up you know jump back in the game Jim and I thank you guys let me know what you think I appreciate it um, like share do subscribe I need to hit 1000 to do these live I appreciate your help thank you